Uh, welcome back. Uh, still here in the studio, we have Coach Alan K. Dick, the one and only Trigger Man, and uh, former UP Fighting Maroon uh, Jet Manuel. And we're going to break down what happened in game number one of the UAP finals. The anticipation and the hype for this game was incredible. And we, you know, we got a, we got a, a closely contested game. It was not a blowout. Hindi siya tambakan. This was a competitive game all throughout. Uh, Jet, uh, what was the one thing that stood out for you in that uh, game one? Well, um, I was happy with the pace that, uh, that, that both teams were playing. It was really a battle all throughout, so it was close. But I think that one thing, or maybe one player that stood out was really 3 Ravenna. You know, the reason that Atene won the game was because of 3D. Uh, Kwame had his ups and downs because maybe of you know, whatever factors. But him and actually uh, and, uh, Matt Nieto, they really carried the team. And they were the ones, you know, the, that experience factor just really prevailed for Ateneo um, in, that fi- in that game one finals. Uh, third year event and Matt Nieto, as Jet said, uh, f- they have finals experience, they have international uh, experience. And I suppose you were not surprised with the way those two uh, young men played in game one. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you can see the composure and yung experience ng Ateneo during that game. You know, it's very hard for a team to play an emotional game. It's very draining and you can see it sa UP team, no? At the end of the it's really close up to the last four minutes of the fourth quarter. Nagbumigay lang talaga nung last four minutes because... Medyo draining na eh. Medyo na-stop, na-stop si Desiderio. At the same time, nagkaroon ng injury in the third quarter si Aprete. Yeah. And then, naka-recover. Bumalik siya, but it's too late already. Nandun na yung momentum and composure ng Ateneo to win the game. Uh, talking about that emotional, uh, I guess, style mm-hmm. of UP, I mean, June Manso played an inspired game. Just could not sustain it all the way till the end the bench players uh, you know played big Dario hitting threes Vito was hitting uh, hit a three point shot uh, do you agree that it cannot be just all emotion for the fighting Maroons oh of course um, especially most especially in a final series hindi talaga pwede na all emotion just uh, you know relying on emotion you really have to have that point where you, you you still use that emotion but you have to be efficient you have to execute offense and defensively but um, you know the bench did a great job to keep the to keep the fighting maroons in the game. Well, it's a big it's a big deal that uh, yeah. Juan Gomez de Leano actually came off the bench. Yes, yes. Oh, that's really a big factor. But um, for me, I think in order for UP to improve, still aside from just being more efficient and executing, really need to get more production from br- production from Bright and Paul. So you know that big three, they've been consistent for the whole the whole uh, season. They have to, you know, they have to adjust. They have to compose themselves, and then. Well, okay, yeah. let's talk about Paul Desiderio. Paul Desiderio is now a folk hero uh, <laughs> in, in UP. So <laughs> atin to. But uh, uh, we w- expected that Ateneo would throw schemes and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. shut down defenders. And Paul, how did the Ateneo defense uh, limit Paul Desiderio, Coach Allen? Well, number one, uh, he was matched up with uh, at the first. No, he was matched up with uh, 30, and you can see the height difference. Medyo nahirapan siya, and he got into foul trouble right away. So parang na off sync siya sa offense niya, hanggang sa nag-struggle na siya throughout the game. Na frustra- frustration set in nandun na. So Kaya sabi ko nga kanina, because of the emotional game, it leads to turnovers, bad decision making, even technical fouls. Tapos maaga silang na penalty na nag-cost nung nakatulong sa ano nila, sa Ateneo. So, just for me. Oo. Oh, uh, yun nga, I think it's just ano coach eh. Parang maybe inexperience rin. No, may mm-hmm. factor rin siguro yun na hindi pa sila experience sa final series. Kaya... May, may ano pa sila kailangan pa nila mag settle down talaga yes. emotion settle down just play the way they've been playing the whole se- the whole season coming in your final four series iba rin yung laro nila that's true uh, well now uh, that game one uh, also that uh, that matchup between Kwame and Bright uh, Kwame interestingly uh, did not really have a solid offensive performance he got the rebounds mm-hmm. but did you see that Kwame was also affected by you know, the magnitude of the moment. Oh, I think, you know, it reminded me of his first ever UAP game. Yeah, against Adamson. Yeah, against yes, Adamson. Yes. They, they lost that game. He had zero points. But, you know, looking at him, it was really different. I think also, 
he was sa start he was missing his free throws he was missing the dunk yeah, yeah. he was, he was missing dunk. layups oh, and then the fact that you know may incident and then the crowd was on him it really, it really uh, got to his uh, to his but again because of the experience of the other players and coach tab they got over that hump yeah. I wonder I if coach Allen still remembers the time that he was you know, star stuck in the stop. finals. Oh, Any yeah. event ever? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, you know, I'll ask about that when we return because still ahead, uh, Coach Allen and Jet will give their keys to winning for the Blue Eagles and the Fighting Maroons in Game 2 of the UAP Finals. So stay with us.